Well, our correspondent Brian Carter is following the summit closely. He joins me now live from uh, Brussels. Uh, Brian, it wasn't exactly a smooth start to the summit, was it? Good morning, Bell. Yes, exactly, as you said. And I'm standing right in front of the NATO headquarters where the leaders of the 29 member states are expected here this, this morning for the second day of talks. The leaders of Ukraine and Georgia are also expected here this morning. So the talks will focus on Russia and the threats from Russia. And I must say, after the first day of summit, despite all the fears, anxiety and bickering that went on behind the scenes, uh, it was quite an optimistic uh, summit. After all, the alliance agreed on several important steps uh, for its future, especially on defense spending, where they renewed their pledge to reach uh, the 2% uh, GDP target by 2024. As you heard in the story before, uh, Donald Trump stunned his allies by saying that this wasn't enough and that it should be 4% of GDP. Allies quickly reacted, saying that this was clearly uh, not possible at the moment. So normally, uh, these summits, are everything is prearranged uh, in advance and everything is determined of what will be on the agenda. But with Donald Trump at the table, really what will happen? What he will say, what he will do, is really anyone's guess. Brian, thank you very much. Brian Carter in Brussels.